The impact that Dr. Allen has had in, 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 in my career, since, you know, considering the relatively short amount of time that we have had the opportunity to know each other, I think I look at his leadership skills and uh, the vision that he has not only for the university, but also to people when he says it all matters. So it really makes you look at the different aspects and the different angles in which you can help achieve people's purpose in life. My experience at Delaware State has been nothing but spectacular. A lot of this is due to the support of Dr. Tony Allen. He's creating a legacy, not only for himself, but for Delaware State University. Dr. Allen has truly played a crucial role in helping the dreamer community here at Delaware State University feel not just comfortable, but helping us feel supported. Dr. Allen is the appropriate candidate for this award because he is, he has made so many positive contributions, not only to Delaware State University, in particular my, my program, uh, which deals with un, undocumented students, which we very well known as, uh, as dreamers currently. I believe that Tony is continuing that legacy um, for those who are first generation, um, even students who just feel like they never thought they could be in college. And I feel like he's continuing that legacy on past, for, it's gonna be for decades. Whatever people are going through, he's, he has been able to contribute to people in the community. And I think that, and I think that that approach that he has when it all matters, and when, when you care about others, regardless of, of, of your status, regardless of, of whatever situation you're currently experiencing. I think that's really makes him a powerful candidate for, 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 uh, for this award. A lot of us come from Southern states, so coming up North has truly been sometimes a difficult thing to come and accept. But honestly, Dr. Allen, you know, with his history of helping the community here in Delaware, and he has always been really helpful to underrepresented groups and he's pushed for civil rights. And that truly reflects in how he has helped us and supported us here at Delaware State University. Dr. Tony Allen has been the voice of the dreamers when it comes to politics. He always supported us, giving us the Rise Choice Awards and giving us the opportunity to pursue our career and try to achieve our goals. I'm sorry I can't be with you today. The truth is that they couldn't be giving this award to a more deserving recipient. You know, when we first met over 20 years ago, you were a young, single dad pursuing a doctoral studies. You know, you came to work in my Senate office as a speechwriter in the liaison in Wilmington. Even as you were raising a family and serving on just about every board and committee of consequence in the state of Delaware, you quickly became one of my best staffers. And when Jim Gilliam decided that it was time to start up an Urban League chapter in Wilmington, we knew, he knew, I knew, you were the best leader to get it off the ground. Tony, your work on behalf of the overlooked and under, underserved has, has been tireless. It has not stopped a bit. Whether through forging new partnerships or revamping historic institutions, you've helped make our state a more hospitable for everyone, everyone, to raise a family, pursue opportunity, no matter where they come from, what they look like, or who they love. There is no better way for you to continue that work than building on the incredible 128-year legacy of Dell State as its new president starting next year. Tony, your passion and purpose are inspiring and contagious. Over the years, you've become a dear friend, not just to me, but to the whole Biden family and to the state of Delaware. We're all so lucky to have you. I can't wait to see See, see how you serve your communities in the years to come. Congratulations, pal, from all the Bidens. We're cheering you. We're cheering you on tonight. And I can hardly wait to see you behind that desk in the president's office. You gotta invite me, Tony. Remember, you gotta invite me.